CS50 is an introductory computer science course offered by Harvard University. This online course is completely free and provides a comprehensive curriculum covering programming languages, algorithms, data structures, and more. Upon completion, you have the opportunity to earn a certificate from Harvard University, showcasing your newfound skills and knowledge. Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome to my channel. For this heading series, I'll be guiding you through the CS50 Introduction to Programming with Scratch. So, let's get started. And there's lots of like classes, like this is the first class for sprites and the next one is the second class and today I'll be just guiding you through the first class. Once you like enter this, you can, there is like video that teach you and there is also homework. But this video it explains quite well, but it is very long. It is like an hour or so. So today I'll be making it in a 10 minutes and then I'll um, explain the important parts. And the first class is about sprites. So let's get started. So first we go into Scratch and then this is our sprite editor and then this is called sprite one. So we can change the name of it into cat or anything you want, cat. And you can, and the next one is X and Y value. It's where your cat goes. The X value is left and right. The Y value is up and down. So if I change the X value to 100, it will just move to the right. And if I change it to negative 100, it will go to the left. And Y is the same. If I change it to 100, it will go upwards. And if I change it to negative 100, it will go downwards. Like so. And I'll just reset it to zero. It's the basic center of the screen. And the white blanks are called the stage, where your, where your sprite lives. And here you can you can say if you would show the cat or not. So I click hide and then it just hides the cat basically. And size, you can change your size to 100 which is the default size. And if you change it to 50, it'll be two times smaller. If I change it to 200, it'll be two times bigger. So I'll just reset it to 100. And this direction column says where your cat is facing. If I face towards 90 degrees, which is forward, you can face towards downwards with 180 degrees and zero degrees is upwards. And 90 degrees, negative 90 degrees is like left but it's upside down that's the problem but stretch have a fix to that you click in the middle which is called left right where you can you can only face to the left or right and it doesn't move upside down and this is called all around and this is called don't rotate so it doesn't rotate I'll change it back to all around and then set it to 90 degrees. Okay, so now if you want to duplicate this sprite, you can click, right click it and click duplicate. And you'll get two of the sprites and you can drag them around on the stage using your mouse. And you can also have new sprites such such as go into the the sprite selector in the bottom right and then click choose the sprite and surprise it's like you can just like a random and 
Upload sprite means you can upload a sprite from your computer. So I'll first click into the choose a sprite. I'll choose one. So, hmm, which sprite should I choose? Hmm, this dog looks pretty cute. I'll choose the dog called Dot. I'll just name it Astronaut. And once you go in the costume editor, this is called the costume editor and this is the code editor or the code tab. And costume editor, he's got some costumes. And costume basically means that what your sprite would be look like would look like on the stage. So if I change it to dot D, it'll just like show the dot D costume. And if you want to add another costume, you can choose a costume surprise, which is a random costume. Upload, upload the costume, and paint. You can paint a costume. I'll paint one very quickly. But maybe your painting isn't as well as the 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 thing that Scratch has give you. So I prefer to like choose it from the costume selector rather than drawing it yourself. I've drawn some costumes, but it took me a long time. So yeah, and then you can also delete this by clicking delete. Or, if you click the sprite, there will be a little trash icon, and then you click the trash icon, and then you, it will get deleted. So now, there also will be sounds, and this is the sounds editor, where you can get sounds, and this is the first sound, which is meow, okay, pretty simple. And then, go into the sound selector, you can upload a sound, a random sound and record a sound and choose a sound. I will just choose a sound. My favorite sound in Scratch is like the the flunk. Wait, which one is it? It's the one from the like it's called like funky something. Dance funky, yeah, and it sounds like this. Okay, we go back, but the stage is all white, which is very boring. So we can click into the stage editor, stage selector, or we can call it. We can choose a backdrop, paint a backdrop. Choose a random backdrop or upload a backdrop. I'll just choose a backdrop. Okay, so there's so many backdrops. Isn't it great to have all the selection of backdrops? Since I have a cat, I'll just go into a blue sky. That's pretty nice. And you can drag your cat to the floor. Okay, and I'll also paint a backdrop. So like, I'll paint it into like a circle. I'll paint it into like a cat house. And don't judge my paintings, okay? This is a cat house. Okay. This is the backdrop I painted. It's like a magical cat house. And you can drag the cat to the floor level like here okay that's cool so now you got you learned those skills so why don't you show them off for some homework so first let's go in back to the google and then when you get to this page you'll have like a project one homework so the homework is Create at least one additional backdrop in addition to the default blank one. And add at least three different sprites. So let's go into Scratch. 
create and then you can first choose a backdrop so choose a backdrop I kind of like football so I'm going to choose the football field playing field and for the sprites I'm going to choose a footballer is there a footballer sprite? okay so sports football okay I'll choose her she looks like a football player I need to delete my cap because that's the default one okay now we can also add like some paint one I'll paint a stick man because I know how to draw stick man so I love them like this like this Okay, this is my stick man. And you can also add the surprise one. Like surprise, which one should you give me? Um, a trash can. Um, that doesn't fit well with the football field, so let's choose it. get a new one. Oh, that's a shark. I'll just choose one so that we don't waste time. And time is precious. So I'll just choose Chen 99, he looks sick. Um, he's a little bit big, so change his size to 50. Okay, so that's it for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel below, and you can also join the CS50's introduction to programming with Scratch, and here's the link. Okay, so you can practice these at home or you can watch some of the CS50s like the videos and I hope you have a great weekend. So bye!